In this video, we explore the structure and atomic bonding of metals, and we show how this accounts for the physical properties of metals, like malleability, ductility, and conductivity. Metals have a crystalline structure, which we can start to see as we zoom in on this fractured aluminium metal. Each crystal, or grain, is made of a regular lattice of atoms, which are all oriented in the same way. The borders between these distinct crystals are called grain boundaries. Zooming in again, we can see one of these metal grains in finer and finer detail. As we do, we're getting closer to the underlying structure of the metal. Until finally, it appears a regular pattern of dots. These are the aluminium atoms, packed together in a regular arrangement called a crystal lattice. To understand the atomic bonding that holds this lattice together, we need to consider the electrons of the metal atoms. Metals have only a weak hold on their outer or valence electrons. Aluminium atoms with 13 protons and 13 electrons have three valence electrons. These outer electrons become detached from the atom and are free to move throughout the structure. Now the remaining core of each aluminium atom is positively charged, like a cation with a 3 plus charge. The free or delocalized electrons create a sea of electrons surrounding the metal cations. And it's the electrostatic attraction between these negative electrons and positive cations that holds the lattice together. We call this metallic bonding. These bonds are non-directional because electrons are shared with all neighboring atoms in all directions. This unique structure and bonding explains the special physical properties of metals. Metals are malleable, meaning they can be shaped and hammered flat. That's because layers of atoms are able to slide past each other without breaking the metallic bonds. Metals are also ductile, which means they can be stretched and pulled into wires. Again, that's because the atoms can slide past each other without breaking the metallic bonds. Metals are also excellent conductors of heat and electricity. When a voltage is applied to a metal, the electrical current is carried by the flow of free electrons within the metal's structure. So, in this video we've explored the structure of metals, from crystal grains down to the lattice of regularly packed metal atoms. We saw how freely moving valence electrons within this structure create a sea of electrons around the metal cations. And we've defined metallic bonding as the attraction between these free electrons and the cations. Finally, we've seen how malleability, ductility and conductivity can be explained by this structure and bonding.